All right, guys, so <laughs> welcome welcome to another Friday. Even though it's not Friday while I'm recording this, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Today is Monday. Uh, it's Monday evening. Today's donor review is a little different than usual. I guess it's kind of like the one I did for Rush's because what I did today was I bought the donuts while I was at work, um, save me some time tomorrow, and because they're a lot closer to my work than they are to my house. Uh, so I bought the donuts earlier today. It's nice and cool today. I think inside my truck, it was probably around 35 degrees. Outside my truck, it was about 20 degrees, but it was sunny. So I don't know, the donuts are gonna be fine. And uh, the coffee for today's donuts is gonna be McDonald's. Uh, before I get too far, I wanna tell you my coffee story about tonight because it was kind of a cluster. So I just left the gym. Um, I don't know if you can tell how pumped up I am with my hoodie and my jacket and everything on but uh it was chest day it's a good day um everybody's using all the equipment but anyway so i'm leaving the gym and i was like i've got to go do a donut review because the first thing you do after exercise is to eat some fat so i was gonna go get some coffee and then find some place to sit where there's a little bit of light i think i found a halfway decent spot today the coffee, last time I did a donut review in the evening, I went to a certified and got some coffee, I believe. Well, I didn't want to get certified coffee again, so I was driving down the road, and there's a spot where there's a McDonald's and a Tim Hortons right next to each other. Well, there was two reasons I decided to go to Tim Hortons. One, it's right next to McDonald's, and the McDonald's is always busy. The Tim Hortons is never busy because reasons. Uh, so I was like, I'm going to go to Tim Hortons, get a Tim Hortons cup of coffee. It's going to be funny because I'm going to be drinking Tim Hortons coffee, eating this other brand of donuts. It's going to be hilarious. Tim Hortons was closed. It was 6.30 p.m. and Tim Hortons was closed. I don't know what's up with that. They used to be, they used to all be 24-7. But anyway, the Tim Hortons was closed. Well, then I was like, well, I just want a freaking cup of black coffee. I'm not going to McDonald's because they always have a line. So I go to the Shell station down the road. Uh, the Shell station is where I always buy my lottery tickets. The guy in there, uh, he doesn't know me, but he always recognizes me and we always have a little pleasant conversation. He's from, um, I don't wanna get it wrong, either India or Pakistan. I don't know. I've never asked him, but it's one of those two countries. I can tell by his accent. Um, but he's always really nice. I think it's India. But anyway, I go in there, I'm gonna get a cup of coffee. There was no coffee, it's 6.30 p.m. There's no coffee at the Shell station. So then I had to get back on the road, go around the block, and I ended up going to McDonald's anyway. So here's my McDonald's coffee to go with my donuts tonight. Uh, hopefully, I didn't already say the name of the donuts, but because uh, that's part of the whole video, it's part of the tradition. Today's donuts come from a place that does not have any marketing on their, their containers, and it came in a like a to-go lunch thing. But the donuts for today, these are gonna be Amy's Donuts. Now, for those of you who don't know, Amy's Donuts is a national chain of franchises. I believe they're all individually owned or maybe a couple individuals own a, a couple stores, I don't know. It's a national chain and I will tell you right off the bat, it's probably, at least with my experience, the only national donut chain that's worth buying donuts at. So I went to Amy's Donuts today on the west side off of Georgesville Road near the casino. Um, they're always fantastic. I love Amy's Donuts. I did take a picture of the building, which I'll put up here. You know what, I'll probably put it up over here because there's more, there's more room here. So here's Amy's Donuts. Enjoy the picture. As always, we're gonna start with the, the glazed donut. Here it is. Sorry about my lighting. Um, let's see. There's glaze on the top. Well, there's glaze on the bottom and there's no glaze on the top. I think this is supposed to be the bottom. You can see where there is a, where it was on the drying rack or the cooling rack. Um, here's the fry. It's, it's kind of sticky in my hand, so I can't hold it very well. Um, there it is for you. Here it is next to my head. This thing, it's actually kind of fat. I don't know if you can tell how fat it is. I don't know if these lights are throwing me off. Is that better? You tell me. All right, so that that's how fat this donut is. The hole, the hole is regular sized hole. Uh, I'm gonna turn this back on. So um, Amy's donuts are usually pretty good. 
this is big this is not going to be a one bite or a two bite glazed donut um it's got some some heft to it so i gotta flip this thing around and here we go the amy's glazed donut That styrofoam container just came in, comes in really handy. So, I can tell this sat in my car and it was refrigerated all day long because it's fairly cold, but it's still really yummy. The first thing that jumps out about this donut to me is it's very chewy. Like, very chewy in a very good way like it tastes like like a good sourdough bread how it's nice and chewy that's kind of how this tastes it's a fantastic glazed donut amy's donut just does it right The yeast flavor in that <clears throat> is incredible. It's very good. If I'm being honest, the chewiness and the yeastiness is exactly what I remember of donuts when I was a little kid in my hometown bakery. Which is pretty impressive considering that this is a chain. Now, I don't know how this chain does their dough if they ship all the dry ingredients and then they mix it in house if that's the way they do it that's a pretty good way of making donuts because you can kind of have that homemade feel every time so the amy's donut was large fat the glaze i didn't judge the glaze the, gla I, the glaze was just right it was um added a bit of sweetness to the donut but it wasn't like sickness sickening sweet it wasn't on the bottom, but I'm not even going to dock points for that. It didn't need it. The donut itself, that was such a good glazed donut. I think that you would be happy eating that without any glaze on it. That was fantastic. So for Amy's donuts, the glazed donut, they're also going to get a 10 out of 10, which if you've been paying attention, and if i am been paying attention, if I'm correct, I think that's the third time we've had a 10 out of 10. Um, Dear Dutchman. Buckeye Donuts, and now Amy's Donuts. Uh, very good glazed donut. Now for the Long John. So, is that chocolate? Yeah. There's the chocolate Long John, nice and shiny. Um, this, I'm a little let down right now. This does not have the girth and the heft that I expect from particularly in Amy's Donuts Long John. Um, you can see it does have holes on both sides. So that's fine. Um, neat. One of the neat things about Amy's Donuts is that when you go and you order a Long John, they ask you what flavor icing you want on it and they'll go grab one and they're hollow behind the counter. They have to turn around and they put the filling in it for you and they, they ask you what kind of filling you want. They had... Um, Dulce de leche, which is uh, really yummy, like caramel, sweet milk caramel. Um, you can get chocolate filling in them. You can get um, Boston cream in them, or you can get like the vanilla cream. And I, the woman was not a native English speaker, and I just told her white. So that's what I got. Um, usually when I get these, they put so much cream in them that it's like bursting out the side. This one does not appear to be that way. So, did I show you the fry on it? I think I turned this light off for that. So there, there's the fry on this donut. Here's the bottom. I didn't really show you the bottoms of these. So anyway, time for an Amy's donut, Long John.
It's pretty wide. It's about as wide as the uh, Deer Dutchman's. Definitely not as long. I was right about the filling, unfortunately. And I don't like throwing anyone under the bus. <clears throat> but this is because of the particular person that filled this donut for me. She was really sweet, really, really helpful, really nice. Um, but she didn't fill this one right. Which is unfortunate. It's not, not what I normally get from them. Um, let's see. Let's focus. There's the cream in the middle. So it's there. And you can see actually the, the fry on that. That's a really good focus picture. The pastry is really good. The chocolate on top is really good. Um, there's just not enough filling. Like, you can't taste it. Hmm. Sorry, I'm maybe not as talkative during this one. Let me just eat. That bite had a ton of the filling in it. This filling is kind of that overly sweet kind that I don't really care for. It was still good. <clears throat> um, all right, so the long john. The pastry itself was really good. Pastry, did I say that? The pastry itself was really good. The icing on top was really good. Uh, threw my napkin away. Got stuff all over my mouth. Um, chocolate on top was really good. The pastry was good. It was fluffy. It was a little dense. I think that's because it sat in the truck for a little bit, so I'm not going to knock any points for that. The filling was a little... It left some to be... Uh, left me wanting. Is that the right word for it? Something to be desired. It left something to be desired. I'm going to put it that way. And it was a little bit too sweet for my taste. Um, to, normally when I go there, I ask them to put chocolate filling on the inside instead of the vanilla cream because chocolate on chocolate is, like, amazing. Um... But anyway, it was still a pretty damn good donut. For the Long John, I'm going to give that an 8.5. It's kind of sad because I've had them before where they were absolutely 10 out of 10s. This one was not. One other thing that I'll say about Amy's Donuts is that it's another one of those places that you don't necessarily go to get the traditional um, cream stick and glazed donut. They, their glazed donut, which I told you, is one of the best donuts that you'll ever have. It was f fantastic. Well, they make boatloads of those, and then they put different toppings on them. So different colored icings, different flavored icings. They have stuff where they have Oreo cookies on them. Um, they have gummy worms. That You name it, they've got a freaking donut for it. They've got um, coconut-filled ones, uh, peanut butter-topped ones. I mean, they, they go crazy there. Um, I personally... When I go to buy Amy's Donuts for like, uh, sometimes I'll take, I don't want to say, people will take this the wrong way, but sometimes I'll, I'll get a box of, box of donuts and take them to like one of the hospitals to give the nursing staff. Maybe I won't take it the wrong way. There's just a lot of jokes about cops flirting with nurses. I don't do it to flirt with them. I'll usually, I will reward the nurses at a hospital if they had to deal with a particularly difficult patient that I brought in, like somebody covered in poop. Um... I'll, when I leave, I'll go get some donuts and bring them back to the hospital. I've done that a few times. And what I normally do is I'll go to Amy's and I'll say, hey, just give me a box of assorted. And they'll just throw in like a mixture. And that way you open up this box and it's got like all these different crazy kinds of donuts and stuff. And it's, it's like a party. It's like, it's really fun. And they're all really good. So Amy's, I will say, <clears throat> is probably the best national donut chain that I've ever experienced. I'll give them credit for that. And I would also say that 
it's kind of sad. But All right, so this is me editing. Um, I'm going to hop into this video for a quick moment, a uh, quick interruption. I'm actually editing that video right here on this computer. This is the Amy's Donut video where I either just said or I'm about to say that this is going to be the last donut video on the channel. Well, I'm here to tell you that um, after serious thought and advisement from many of my trusted advisors, this will not be the last donut video on the channel. Um, donuts are kind of a fun thing that I like to do. I like eating donuts and I like kind of the conversation everybody has about donuts. So they're not going anywhere. What I am going to do is it'll still be Friday. So we'll still have donuts on Fridays. I just don't know exactly how I'm going to go about the topic from here on out. Um, and what I'm going to title the videos. It might be coffee with a cop. It might be, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do, but, uh, I'll go back to some of the, some of my favorite donut shops and I'll give them kind of a second crack. Um, meaning I'm not just going to go get a glazed and a long john anymore. I'll go, maybe I'll walk in and I'll say, Hey, what are your two favorite donuts? Or I'll go and eat what I believe is actually kind of their signature thing. So like at Buckeye Donuts, cause that's one of the most recent ones I reviewed. Um, I'll go get like the blueberry donut and one of their chocolate devil, devil's food donuts. Cause those are amazing. Um, or some of these places that have like the, the crazy donuts with all the wacky toppings and colors and all that. I'll ask the employees to give me what their top choice is um, and kind of go from there. Some of these donut shops, I know that the owners actually work there too. And I would really love to have a conversation with the owner of a donut shop. Maybe put that kind of video up on a Friday. That could be fun. Um, I don't even want to, I don't want to throw anyone's names out there, but there's a couple of shops locally that are doing some social media stuff lately. So it'd be cool to, if I could arrange something with them, but regardless, whatever I said, or I'm about to say, or whatever, it's not necessarily true. There's going to be donuts on the channel. So let's get back to it. I think this might be my last donut video, um, or at least last donut review of this nature, because I can't think of any other donut places to go that aren't too far of a drive for me. Um, so I'm going to kind of button up my donut experience here in Columbus <clears throat> by saying now within the city of Columbus, the number one place to go is Buckeye Donuts. The number one um, national chain that's in Columbus is Amy's Donuts. I would say that Amy's is only a half point below Buckeye on an overall rating scale. Uh, when it comes to the rest of their donuts, they kind of do different things, so it's not really fair to, com to compare them. If I had to compare apples to apples, I would compare Buckeye Donuts to Dear Dutchman. Dear Dutchman is not necessarily in the city of Columbus, it's a little bit outside of Columbus. And um, I think it would be a tie. Um, so if you're in the area of central Ohio and you want donuts, my top three would be Amy's, Buckeye's, and Dear Dutchman. And they're almost, it's basically a push across the board for all three. But if you're in Columbus traveling, there's a good, there's a chance that you could get Amy's Donuts somewhere else. So I would say you have to stop at Buckeye Donuts. But anyway, this was supposed to be a review of Amy's Donuts. I think I've yammered on for long enough. Um, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon.